patch 1.52 introduced two new mini bosses one of them will spawn here in this snow pile and the other one is in world 4 we will look at him later now let's try to get the recipe we have 10 of these four hour candies one apprentice recipe nice bucket of slush i think we got pretty lucky there i also have another recipe here that is for an item skullfish pendant i got that from biggie hours 5% fish AFK gain in return for a fishing XP gain. Yeah, I would say it's worth using up, but that is not our focus right now. Here is the bucket of slush. Drop this on the snowy pile in the refrigeration station in World 3. There are rumors that the recent snowfall will coagulate with the slush in horrible ways. Our environment, the Cuban snowball. Let's make a few of these. Yes, they stack. Thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be in trouble. There we go. 100 of them. That seems like a logical. Mount. Let's take out a few one stacks, drop one and pick it up, and then we just drop one here. There we go. Two big guys. And he got one shot. And he dropped a crafting recipe. Are you seriously going that way? Take this guy out, please. Come on. Three shotting. We got the slush skull. Worship Skull, Worship Power 10, Defense 25, wow, 250 base damage, 2% all stats, max charge 1000%, ooh, bunch of keys, bunch of candy, Midnight Stopwatch, thank you, I think he's timed, you can only get them once every 4 days, but if you wait 7 days instead, you can get 2, you can get that double spawn I got, so I think it's better to wait 7 days, and let's look at the Midnight Stopwatch. You use up a silver stopwatch with a 2% EFK gain. And we get a 2% EFK gain and basic attack speed and weapon power. So it's a big upgrade. Lots of blue salt though. One thing you can do is to mystery stone your stopwatch. And if you don't get more EFK gain, then you can turn it into a midnight stopwatch. And this is the other item we need. Radioactive waste. These don't work. The crude oil. But if you don't have any radioactive waste, you can simply farm the slime and get toxic sludge. That should also work. Now let's head to world four, purple mushroom. And we stand here between, well, the two mushrooms here. We drop a barrel. Hey, hello there. And let's kick their asses. This guy seemed to have a bit more HP than the world three one. He drops ladles and eggs. Nine cooking ladles. This is with my pretty low drop rate. If you have a super high drop rate, you will get tons of ladles this way. So World 4 just got a lot less pay to win. And this guy also resets once every four days. It has the same double spawn after seven days. Let's look at their card. Interesting. Was there an open slot here before, or did he just move Shizuar? Ah, yes, maybe this is the order of the Ephant. You fight this guy, and then you fight Shizuar. Yes, it actually makes sense. Then after Chaotic Shizuar, you fight the Miniboss, and then you fight the Troll. 12% money from monsters. Actually have a Obol here. We got the Slush Skull, and this guy drops another recipe, it seems, that we did not gain. We also have Cooking XP gain, and none of them are passive, so you gotta equip them. And I think that's it for the new mini bosses. All mini bosses drop new recipes now, so go farm them if you haven't already. The easiest way is to do it in the Colosseum, but that is costing you a ticket. And we just take your time, farm them every now and then. Don't worry too much about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.